The weekend saw clashes between protesters and police in Bangkok, with several throwing painted authorities and small fireworks startling both sides. Official reports indicate that some 20 policemen were injured in what used to be peaceful demonstrations, and upwards of 10 others were injured, including a medic. Burmese officials in the now-empowered military junta in the country adjacent to Thailand suspended laws at the weekend that will now see authorities able to detain anyone for as long as need be without a court approval, along with property searches without warrants. With the elected government all either in detention or house arrest, the treatment of demonstrators in Burma has seen rubber bullets, live rounds and tear gas used as nationals have been warned that anyone harbouring people on the new wanted list face jail themselves. Here in Thailand, some 550,000 immigrant workers, mostly from Burma, have registered with the employment offices ahead of the now-ended deadline that sees legal and illegal migrant workers given the rights to stay here for a year, along with Covid testing and access to the national health system. Thailand reported 166 new COVID cases around the nation on Sunday. Of concern, perhaps, is that just a few days after reopening venues and schools, Rayong province saw its first new cases in a while. Three there and testing planned for the week at various locations. Thousands of less wealthy Thais are finding that having accepted illegal payments of a few hundred baht, in exchange for their personal details, which were then used by unscrupulous businesses, to scam the 50-50 travel discount programmes offered by the government to support domestic tourism, they then don't qualify for welfare benefits offered to the poor and unemployed, as essentially they're registered already as having received benefit under the scheme, and it's impossible, apparently, to backtrack. In Nakhon Ratchasima, a local man has found a novel way to generate an income after being laid off from his workplace. He breeds rats. With the field rat a popular and cheap source of meat, he started first for his own family needs, but soon got into the retail business too, earning over 10,000 baht a month, selling to the public and to eateries. Well, it's no worse than frog. And despite shutdowns, lockdowns and slowdowns that have seen people spending more time at home, a surprising statistic hit the headlines at the weekend. Thailand's total fertility rate has dropped to the lowest ever. Less pregnancies than any year on record. Perhaps the quality of television here has improved. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, Walking Street may rise from the ashes, as it were, in a different style, according to the city mayor, who's quoted as saying that the upgrades to the area will be far more than just burying cables. Instead, the street will become a street of beauty, and perhaps not of the underclad type. Police raided two large pool villas in Huayai at the weekend, arresting some three dozen party makers, allegedly along with drug paraphernalia. This after complaints from neighbours. Both homes, pool villas rented by the day, were being used for boozy get-togethers to celebrate a birthday. All may be charged with breaking the emergency decree, and drug testing was carried out. With Sunday being Valentine's Day, 52 happy couples tied the knot at a mass wedding at Nongnooch Gardens. Mounted on elephants, each couple received the wedding blessings. Most had booked well in advance, as the annual elephant wedding has become a very popular way for many. Want to know how business really is in the city of Patio? Then check out the latest edition of Behind the Mic. You can find that on our website, alwayspatio.com. The owner of a local restaurant, Nicky's, discusses the old days versus today, and in a very open interview covers the effect of the lack of trade on both her business and family. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs today at 31, dropping down to 23 with the promise of a sunny day. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and of course to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.